This video explains how a large electrical load can be controlled by a small electrical signal. A large electrical load might be a motor. A computer control signal typically has a small output voltage, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 24 volts. What device can take a small signal and use it to control a large load? Here are two large loads, 240 volt motor, 240 volt power source, 120 volt light bulb, powered by a 120 volt source. In the electrical circuits there are contacts. Open contacts prevent the motor from running. Closed contacts complete the circuit allowing the light to be on. And reversal can occur when the spring is extended. The motor runs now when these contacts close. The light turns off when these contacts open. So now all we need is some way to extend the spring by using a small electrical signal. A small 9 volt source can produce a small current in an electromagnet, which can produce a magnetic field strong enough to extend the spring. So here is a way to control two large electrical loads with one small electrical signal. This device is very common. It's called an electromechanical relay. Here are a bunch of electromechanical relays. This diagram is convenient for explaining how the electromechanical relay works. There's a better electrical diagram called a ladder logic diagram. There are three separate circuits with common parts. There's a start switch, coil, normally closed contacts, normally open contacts, this ladder logic circuit diagram is a common way to organize all the interconnected parts. If we add another set of contacts, we can create a relay that latches. The additional contacts will keep the coil energized even after the start switch is released. The normally closed stop switch will de-energize the coil. It's common that one relay would have several contacts, some normally open and some normally closed. 